are the Yazidis and Kurds ancient Hindus? So the Kurds, the Kurdish people are Muslims today. They are classified as an Iranian ethnic, uh, as an Iranian people, uh, as people who are part of so-called Greater Iran. So their ethnicity is Iranian, which is essentially Indo-Iranian, which means that they, like I have said uh, previously, the Iranians are, if you look at it genetically, from a genetic perspective, the Iranians are part of the same ethnicity as the Indians, the Afghans, the Pakistanis, Nepalis, etc. So that is the uh, extent of this ethnicity. And by the same uh, argument, the Kurds would also be part of the same ethnicity. Now, where the ancient Hindus culturally, we don't have sufficient evidence to come to a definite conclusion about that because the pre-Islamic history of most uh, Islamic ethnic groups has essentially been wiped out. We don't know what they were before. So about the Kurds, we don't know what their history was before they became Muslims. What was their culture like? They most likely practiced Zoroastrianism because they are part of the uh, Iranian cultural sphere. So I would say that they practiced Zoroastrianism before Islam. But before Zoroastrianism, what was it? It would most likely have been Vedic Hinduism because the Iranians, the Persians themselves are an offshoot of the various Vedic clans. They are the Parshwa clans. They are the, they are the descendants of the Parshwa clan of the Rig Vedic uh, peoples. So the word Persia comes from the word Parshwa and the word Parshwa comes from the Sanskrit word Parshu, which means the battle axe. So I would imagine that these people, this clan preferred to use the battle axe in warfare or something like that. That's why they are called they were called the Parshwa people and they that name gave, gave rise to the land that they colonized which is now known as Persia. Their ancient capital was known as Parshwapur. The Greeks called it Persepolis. It's the city that Alexander the Great burned in a night of a drunken rampage. So, right, so that's what that's about the Kurds. About the Yazidis, uh, they practice a religion that appears to be monotheistic, but it has very uh, unmistakable polytheistic roots. Uh, you find elements of nature worship. They worship the serpent. I mean, the serpent is a sacred symbol for them. The peacock is a sacred symbol for them. That is very reminiscent of Shaivite Hinduism. And they worship fire, which is again very reminiscent of Hinduism, the worship of Agni. Agni is one of the principal Vedic gods. So there are unmistakable elements of a pre of an ancient, of a more ancient religion which was practiced, which seems to be very, very similar to Hinduism. Today, they have to pretend like it's a monotheistic religion and they have added some elements, superficial elements of monotheism to the religion so that they, in order for them to survive in the environment that they are in. Uh, genetically and ethnically, again, they seem to be part of the uh, greater Iranian population, which would again say which would again indicate that they have the same cultural roots as the Iranians and the Kurds. So I would say that their origins are most likely Indo-Aryan or Indo-Iranian, which means that their deep ancestry would be culturally Indian or culturally Vedic, if you go back several thousand years. 